All right, let's zap into ball lightning. It's that mysterious floating glowing orb that pops up during thunderstorms, ignoring logic and freaking people out for centuries. But what is it exactly? Science is still scratching its head on this one, but we have a whole collection of science-based theories that range from supernatural mischief to microwaved marshmallows in the sky. Yes, you heard that right. But wait, isn't ball lightning just a myth? Nope, ball lightning sightings have been documented for centuries. People have described these things floating around for minutes, changing colors, and even exploding with a loud bang. Now, some of these tales might be brightened up by a touch of campfire storytelling, but there's enough evidence to suggest there's something real going on here. Okay, so if it's real, what is it made of? Here's where things get interesting, and by interesting I mean we have more theories than a conspiracy theorist convention. Theory 1. Air Madness Imagine a regular lightning strike zapping the air. This theory says the leftover energy from that zap acts like a super-powered microwave on steroids. Think about what happens when you forget about marshmallows in the microwave for a few minutes, they get all puffed up and melty. This theory suggests the leftover energy from lightning does something similar to a tiny pocket of air. It gets blasted with so much microwave power that it becomes super hot. So cool. Way hotter than anything you could cook in your kitchen microwave. This superheated air glows really bright, just like a hot cooker. That intense glow is what we see as ball lightning. Think of it as a tiny angry sun chilling in the sky for a few minutes before it cools down and disappears. Hopefully without setting anything on fire. Theory 2. The plasma ball? All right, ditch the fancy word plasma for a sec. Imagine a regular gas like the air in your bike tire. Now picture that gas getting blasted with a ton of energy, like a million mini lightning strikes all at once. That intense energy rips electrons right off the gas molecules, turning them into something completely different. Plasma. Think of an atom as a tiny solar system. Electrons are like tiny planets circling around a central star, which is the nucleus. Now, in a plasma, some of these electrons break free from their orbits, leaving the atom with a positive charge. It's like a party where some electrons get a bit too bored and decide to leave, leaving behind a positively charged atom. So, plasma is kind of like a gas, but way more energetic and electrically charged. That's why this theory suggests ball lightning is a blob of superheated plasma left behind after a real lightning strike. This blazing plasma party could explain the ball's light and heat, but it still doesn't explain how it stays floating without being pulled down by gravity. Fun fact, plasma is actually the most common state of matter in the universe. It's everywhere, from the sun to the tails of comets. But down here on Earth, it's not super common because it takes a lot of energy to create it. That's why scientists think ball lightning, if it is plasma, would be a super rare and short-lived phenomenon. Theory 3. The Burning Silicon Mix This theory is a little more down to Earth, literally. It suggests that when lightning hits the ground, especially soil rich in silicon, it vaporizes the silicon. This hot vaporized silicon then reacts with oxygen in the air, creating a glowing ball of, well, basically burning sand. It's not the most glamorous explanation, but hey, at least it involves something we can find in our backyards. Theory 4. The Super Small Black Hole Surprise Okay, so this one is a bit out there. Some scientists have proposed that ball lightning could be miniature black holes formed during the Big Bang. Now, before you start freaking out about tiny black holes multiplying in your kitchen, these would be titchy tiny black holes that wouldn't suck up the Earth. It's a fascinating theory, but there's not a whole lot of evidence to support it. Yet. So, what's the verdict? Honestly, the jury's still out. Ball lightning is a slippery little sucker that scientists haven't been able to pin down and study in a lab. But hey, that's the beauty of science, right? There's always a mystery waiting to be resolved. So, if you ever do manage to snag a video of ball lightning, don't forget to share it with everyone. Also, leave a comment below with your craziest ball lightning theories and subscribe.